All right, in this video, I'm comparing two steel snare drums um, from two different eras. Um, we have a modern Pearl Sensitone. This is a 5 by 14 um, steel shell. Uh, I have a single ply coated on top and the um, stock head on the, on the bottom, 20 strand wires. Um, very modern, focused sound. This, this has been my main snare drum for the past few months. Um, this particular one has been discontinued by Pearl. I think this is like a 2012, 13, 14 model, give or take. What I like the most about this drum is the throw off. And this throw off, you can change it into two positions. Right now I have it um, flipping toward me when I have it in the stand. So it will flip toward me, but I can also have it flipping outwards, right? So toward the hi-hat stand. Um, in order to do that, you have to like take our head, remove the, the throw off, and then using some Allen wrenches, flip it. Great system. I like, I like to be able to flip the, the throw off toward me and then forward when I want to engage the wires. Um, but having the option to go in outward is pretty cool. It is kind of hefty. It, is, it has some weight, um, which is part of the reason why I don't take it out much when I gig. It, it, it is quite heavy, right? It's not as heavy as a, as a bronze snare or, or another maybe chrome over brass, but it's heavier, heavier than aluminum for sure. Um, so this is a great drum. I think it has a very sound, uh, focused sound. Uh, the cross stick is pretty good. Um, so recently I got a cross, and this is a 1994 Ludwig Rocker. Um, about the same dimensions, five by 14. Uh, single ply coated. As a matter of fact, I have right now a modern vintage medium Aquarian. Um, I had this head laying around when I got this drum, the, the top head was ripped. Um, so I just put it in because it's what I had. Um, on the bottom, stock head from the 90s, um, wires from the 90s, um, pristine condition on the inside, like, like nothing happened. Um, eventually I'm gonna, you know, take it apart and polish it. But the weight different between this drum and the Pearl is massive, massive. So what made me think about this is, is it really worth it to buy a new drum? Is it really worth it to, you know, spend $300, $400 on a steel snare? Even a modern snare that could cost you $200, well, you can find this used one for $75, $80. And the answer is like, Sure, get get a cheap snare or get the get the, the, the modern one. Um, this drum is much more open as you can see from the demo before. It is n no dampening, no moon gels, no nothing. There's no internal muffler in any of them. Um, just that single ply coated head. And, and this one is much more open. It has a longer ringiness. The cross stick is not as defined as the, as the pearl snare. Um, but also way lighter. Like I could see myself commuting in the New York City train with this drum and my, my cymbals in the backpack rather than the Pearl drum and my cymbals. Like for that drum, I will drive. If I had to take the train and commute, I will definitely take this because although it has some weight, um, it's much lighter than the Pearl. Um, the draws of this one is that, of course, the throw-off is not as nice as the old Ludwig P85. Um, so, you know, it, get, it gets kind of janky and they have this rattle sound when, when it's not engaged. But overall, a great drum. So my final thoughts on this, should you get a cheap drum um, and use it as a pro? Absolutely. Um, would you be happy using a modern snare? Absolutely. I think they both have a space in my drum collection that fortunately I've been building up little by little. Um, and they, they both have a space. They, they don't overlap with each other as much as I thought. I thought I, I will have to get rid of one of them because they will sound similar, but no, this one has some more openness um, and I will use this, especially on a medium range tune. Uh, thank you, Mike Dawson, for, for recommending like a, like a good tuning range for this drum. Um, that Pearl drum can go fat, fat, fat. If you haven't seen the review that I did on that drum, check the link up here. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Um, 
follow my second channel, Drums en Español, which is also uh, more drum lessons, specifically drum lessons in Spanish, applying rudiment, that kind of thing. Um, thanks for watching. Peace.